Good evening, pen chums! Flounder here with some thoughts on a new fountain pen repair experiment I'd like to share. Now, the pens I have here all have different filling systems, but they all have in common um, fillers that are maintained via a, a threaded boss at the end of the barrel. Now, Pilot's uh, piston filler is uh, easy enough to access, it's got uh, faces cut into the boss, you can slide a wrench over them and start unscrewing. Um, Parker's vacuumatic and aluminium fillers don't have um, faces cut into them, but um, very common. They both use the same diameter, the same thread pitch. You can buy widely available vacuumatic tools, or as I did, um, a brass C ring from Dr. Oldfield, which is great when you have big brands, very well documented, you can get the tools, and everyone's happy. However, I hit a wee snag with this. It was sold to me as a 1930s Japanese eyedropper. Um, this shaft that you see is part of the uh, shut-off mechanism. So being a, a no-name brand from Japan in the 1930s, it's uh, understandably going to be a little more difficult for me to find some way of opening up the proprietary threads in this boss. I'm not even sure if it is threaded in or just um, glued into place or if it is threaded, um, if it's a left or right hand pitch to extract it. So what I was thinking, um, I don't have uh, the tools or skills to, to tap a, a searing for myself, but how about moulding one, a sort of a disposable searing, a sort of one-off use to get that filler out um, and replace whatever cork or rubber has perished inside there. This uh, is no longer watertight at the shaft end. So to that end, I've been experimenting with metal epoxy putty. Um, so the idea I've been going, I've been collecting, I've got a fair few threaded bosses to experiment on before I start subjecting the eyedropper to it. I've been thinking, a little uh, red rubber grease, apply it to the threads of the boss, and um, that should stop uh, the epoxy adhering to the boss itself, which would be kind of disastrous. So a little um, red rubber grease, followed by a wrap of Teflon tape. Yes, I've discovered an actual use for Teflon tape in a fountain pen. Huh? Also, the, uh, the rubber grease helps it to... Uh, stick down, stay in place, while still giving enough of a, an impression of the threads for the epoxy to take. Um, I'm using rubber grease here, I should say, rather than um, silicon grease, just because it's easier to wash off. It's rubber compatible, it's easier to wash off. I don't want those threads lubricated, because they do control the shut-off valve. I'd rather they, there was some resistance there. And also, um, being dyed red, it's much easier to see if there is any residue left over. Anywho, a application of grease, uh, a wrap of threaded uh, PTF blah, 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 plumber's tape, and um, I've been making up these really, really crude <laughs> first couple of attempts at a disposable searing. Um, the focus is lousy and so is the lighting, but take my word, this threads on quite well, um, really with no slop at all, and it does grip. Um, with this one here, you can see I've also had a go at um, making an impression of the plier teeth to see if that would give a, an even better grip when the C-ring compresses on the threads. Um, in the future, I might have a go at making one with a profile that matches my smooth section pliers as well. So I'm going to carry on with uh, with these. I, I have a a plastic um, football valve here. The threads are really poorly made. They're really shallow, which is good because I'm hoping that if the epoxy can take an impression of these it will most definitely be able to make an impression of these quite fine and quite sharp threads in the, the boss which I believe to be a rubber boss in a plastic body. 
Yep, so um, I will keep you informed. This is strictly, uh, this is not a fait accompli by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to continue experimenting until such time as I feel it's safe to try this on my eyedropper. Uh, the only pen I have I'll be comfortable um, risking this on is my old, uh, remember the Hero 616 Vacuumatic? I will apply the epoxy to uh, the threads here and uh, see how how it does with them um, gripping on those threads and pulling them out. Now this should be a good uh, test of its, of its strength because this uh, homemade vacuumatic was never threaded in place. It's, uh, what is it? I think it's silicon sealant on the, the diaphragm and I believe the washer was glued to the barrel. So it should give it a, a job to do. If it can do that, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, all right, we'll give it a go on the eyedropper. So I hope uh, this has been interesting. It certainly hasn't been useful so far, but um, we'll build up to it. I shall keep you informed. Cheerio, bye.